Killer YouTubers, Good husband up. <laughs> Wifey G. Two black sheep. Good morning. It's um, it's Saturday. Good day, sad day. Was it? Day after Friday. <laughs> um. So yeah, we've had a um. Like we've had a good week. Over. We've been in the orchard um, doing a bit of thinning of apricots. Yeah. Um, and that's one yeah interesting job, isn't it? It's um. It's monotonous, and it, it's. Um, it's interesting, really, yeah. because like you see how much, um, you'll see in a later video how much fruits on the tree and how much is on the ground, due to us and other people thinning the fruit so you know you'll you'll see in the video it's um how much goes on the ground and how much is in the trees and yeah it's pretty crazy mm. and you sort of get appreciation for already we've only been doing it for a week or so but we get appreciation for the work involved for the fruit you buy at the at the supermarket or, um, or, or the, wherever yeah or the, even the roadside stalls you know or the what they do in the prep and you know even like fighting the frost the last couple of frosts we've had um they've been fighting the frost and just the work involved in that to save the fruit so yeah it's been pretty interesting isn't it yep um yeah we haven't had much else go on we haven't had uh funny enough to our videos we've had no dramas <laughs> uh, yay um it's yeah, been pretty good really just been hunkering down in the in, in the orchard and doing a bit of work and doing the odd little trip into town for just general stuff um so yeah things are going along quite well at the moment yeah catching up on ba bus maintenance even if it's a little job once a week we ordered um an outside aerial for our hud for our router for the internet yeah so and we, that arrived yeah so that's been put on the i put that on the bus yesterday so um it's little which is something i don't like doing things. Is, um, making another hole in the bus. Made another hole in the roof. Yeah. Put the aerial through the hole and then I had to seal it up. So yeah, it's just one of those things I suppose. You've got to put stuff on the roof and pick up the internet and, and stuff. So that's that's that job done. I've got a bit of stuff to do on the inside of the bus. Um, not much really, but yeah, we're getting there, eh? Yeah, we had a we had a rainy day, we had a frosty day yesterday, we didn't start till nine o'clock, so when it's frosty um you don't start to the frost start storing so that can be anywhere between nine o'clock and midday so yeah we had a quiet day the other day at the start of the week and then we had a big <coughs> excuse me we had a big change around in the bus <coughs> and um we had a bit of a sort out and make things work a little bit better and the bus feels bigger we got rid of the the glory box or the blanket box whatever you call it yeah you just i don't know you you change stuff around and tidied up so like everybody does in the cupboards yeah yeah so it's been pretty good <coughs> we've um we'll hopefully get into the season now we've been told we're on six days a week as of next week so that'll be good um so that's good so yeah bring it on and earn some money yeah you know, do the do the hard yards from now on till the end of the season so which that's going to be a while um so we're doing thinning now we've got cherries won't be picked until oh, mid-december the cherries yeah mid-december nectarines yeah so we've got quite a variety of uh, fruit to pick and apparently the work goes here right through to about oh march march april march april so. and then it goes back into pruning and thinning again so if you actually want to you can stick around if they haven't got enough of the workers to do the pruning and thinning we can <coughs> we can stay yeah so if we'll, they'll have us too like we we haven't decided that yet have we no we haven't decided whether we'll stay right through to to um april um we might decide we want to go somewhere else and see a bit more of the country but we um, had a look on Google Maps um, oh, a couple of days ago. It was quite surprising. We visited 73 places last month and we went through 24 new uh, towns. Mm. Um, so it was quite interesting. Our good old Google Maps has kept us up to date with what we've been up to. Um, so yeah, it was quite interesting. Yeah, um, and we're all the way down here in Alexander and from Tabuki it's 
if you check on the map he might put one on might link it it's it's a it's a fair it's a fair way yeah, it's 14 well it's 1450 k's or you're about 1400 k's from from one job to the next um and yeah the cost of of travel is not cheap um you know you look at we use 550 odd liters of diesel um a ferry crossing road mileage so you know, anybody thinks life on the road is cheap yeah, you're pretty delusional because it's not um, it is a lifestyle. It's not a money-making um, venture. It's just... And we're in our first year. Yeah, and our first year is going to be a hardest year. We've talked to some other people that are here, and they've been on the road for about four so, years, three, four years. I think they're in their third year. Yeah, this, this, this is their third season here at this orchard, so we've, we've had a good chat to them and given lovely. us some insight um, to what happens. And to, you know... Costs are different for everyone. Um, some people don't um, consider everything as a cost. They just think fuel and food, and you know, everyone. I don't know. It is a cost. We all we all have costs, and everyone's costs are different. We've got a bigger motorhome. Some people got smaller motorhomes. Some people have only got vans. Um, some people have just you know a little white camper van, and you know, yeah. and it's all basic, but. Everyone has their own preference. We like our big motor home because it's it's spacious. It allows us to bring our motorbikes with us and all our gear. And yeah. oh, hang on, we're homeless. No, we're not. We've got the home. So you know, our bus is our home. So and other people, you know, their their home is is their fifth wheeler or their little um, eight meter bus or their van. So everyone's different. But here we are. Um, we had last night. Oh, last night we had a, a group barbecue. So we cranked out the old um, steel plates, got them out of the out of the hole in the bus, and and one of the boys here had a fire going. So we chucked the plates on the fire and cooked some cooked some food and some meat up. And the girls made some salads. Um, yeah, it was good feed. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was we good, good meal. Impromptu it? too. It was just. Yeah, random. We After just... Friday night drinks here at the orchard, they always stop a little bit early on Friday and have a drink. Yeah. <clears throat> Boss puts out on some beers for, for the workers, which is well appreciated. And yeah, it was very nice. I, yeah. And have a good yarn and everyone has a bit of a giggle. And then when I got back, I thought, yeah, let's just have a barbie. Let's just all put in a little bit of food and we'll get a great dinner out of it. So, and we did. Yeah, we had a real good meal. We had a really good dinner last so night. Can't say no to that. And we both were panicking because we, <coughs> the other couple here hadn't done shopping and neither had we, but you couldn't tell last night. Yeah, and we had big feed, eh? <laughs> yeah, no, we had potato salad, coleslaw, sausages, a bit of steak. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. We had we're, some bread, we had a bit of music uh, on. Onions, yeah, so it was quite good. And that's only just two two couples and our um, single traveller over there, and we did pretty well. So yeah. it'll be nice once we get a few more campers into the camp. Yeah, coming we got, this weekend. Got another three or three or six coming this weekend, so So that'd be nice. Yeah, Some so it's more start, people around. Starting to fill up and Yeah. But yeah, as we said we're we're on six days a week as of next week. <sighs> oh, sorry. Um, so cool. So that's up for us. We're gonna go out on the bikes today, so we might have to take some film and some photos and we hope everybody is well and safe and happy. Yeah, and, and we'll we'll might do some photo shoots in Wanaka. Wanaka. And um, yeah, you'll get to see a new place in New Zealand you never knew existed. <laughs> Google Maps inform me. Just mm. down the road in Wanaka, you will find this. So we're going to go to that little place and yeah, we're going see to what native. natives live there. <laughs> Sounds like a native name. So yeah, well, you we might find the long lost people tribe of Wanaka. In Wanaka. Yeah, yeah. We're going to look at motorbikes, so. Oh, yeah. Go to the Harley <laughs> Davidson shop, aren't we? Yeah, we're going yeah. to have a look at tractors. Yeah. They keep looking at tractors. George wants a new I've motorbike. I've got a weird feeling I'm going to end up with a tractor, but maybe not. Yeah. Oh, you might do. I don't know. Yeah. Not this year, anyway. Someone might buy you one. No, not this year. Hey, Santa Claus, you can't <laughs> fire a bike, would you? <laughs> All right, people. Stay safe. See ya. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh. Kia ora YouTubers, husband up. Wifey G. Hello. It's morning time in the orchard. So what we decided to do, oh hang on, I did. 
I cook my lady a breakfast. <laughs> Bacon and eggs and a coffee and a toast. It's a beautiful day. So can't say no to this day. So anyway, you can look, but you can't touch. So anyway, close your mouth. And see you later. Bye. Oh, good morning, YouTubers. Husband up here. So here we are in uh, Alexandra in the orchard. Bit of a pan shop on what we uh, maybe just enjoy the scenery, really. Bit of a gloomy day today. So, um, yeah, not too bad. So hopefully during the day we'll be able to do a bit of filming on what we get up to. Um, so we're thinning apricots at the moment. Um, so we've just stopped for a bit of a smoko. So yeah, a bit of a gloomy day, but still not a bad outlook though. Tiny bit of snow left up on the hill. But this is just one block of the many. Well, talk to you later. Good YouTubers. Two black sheep here, husband up, and wifey G in the orchard. Hey, wifey G, get up your ladder. You get up the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Wifey's going to do some thinning of the apricots without falling off the ladder. So you right down to here? Yeah. Yeah. You can't really see them, eh? In the video. Anyway. Here's all the apricots. Damn. There's too many on there. There's a lot. So, Wifey G's gonna take off the undesirables. So, as you can see on the ground, there's quite a few. So all these ones are on the ground are just ones we don't really need. And 